All right, good afternoon. Aaron Scheel here, Operate Training Manager here at Ziegler Caterpillar. We're in a cab of a new next-gen excavator, and we're dealing with 2D grade control today. So just a quick explanation of, um, of how we're using a laser along with our 2D grade control. So I get comment or question often from um, folks as they see that little target up on the, on the stick there. It's only about a four-inch little laser catcher, and they wonder how we're going to dig uh, keeping the laser beam in that little lens. Well, that is not necessary. So all that there is, all that is for, is to use as a reference. The laser can be beam can be just used as a reference. So we did a touch point, and that was just again a, a point that we could go back to as a reference before and after a move. And we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to use the laser for that instead. All right. So we can do a traditional benchmark. So what we can do is reach over and uh, from a known elevation we can set a benchmark and whether it's grade or if we had to put a cut or a fill in from that spot, whichever, it doesn't really matter for what we're up to here. We're going to go ahead and put on a, put a uh, mark there. So that's, that's our grade. Now we're going to bring in, bring the boom and manipulate the stick to where we can get the, get the laser into the catcher and when I, you can see on the right hand side of the monitor there we're getting the I'll bring it up again here so you can see it you're going to get the icon there I'm going to hit the button grade has been accepted the reference has been accepted so now we're going to be able to travel it says grade travel de uh, is detected so it's paying attention knowing that if we don't do something about that uh, our grade is going to be compromised. So let me get down here off the pile and if I was to reach over and touch our grade point you're going to see that our cut is going to want us to go down 232 yet. Okay so we still that's how high the pile is basically. So let's go ahead and try to correct that. We're going to get the laser down or the beam in the lens again. All right, get that green. I hit the button. The laser has been accepted, so our correction should have been made. Now we come back over here and touch our point, and bam, we've got our our correction. So that's how we're going to use our laser. All right, so we're not digging with that laser. Um, in the glass, we're just using it as a reference before point before and after we move the machine to make up for any elevation changes that the machine makes over the course of the dig. Thanks for your time.